and welcome to another Three String Cigar Box guitar lesson. Uh, I'm Sean from Coda Guitar and this is uh, a final look just for the time being at a uh, classic chord based tune that we've adapted for three strings. So a bit of Credence Clearwater Revival, uh, Proud Mary. So great song, um, another one that's really instantly recognisable um, and uh, really good for like your rhythm playing as well. Um, so it's quite, quite a nice sort of driving um, sort of feel this one. Uh, so let's just tune up and then we'll get stuck into it. So we've got D, sorry, G, D, and G. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me, as with um, the others we've been looking at, uh, we're just um, sort of ad adapting, you know, sort of famous songs from six strings and uh, using um, what are the, the sort of nicest and easiest to play uh, chord shapes for this G, D, G tuning. Um, so there aren't actually that many chords in this one. Um, there's a nice riff at the beginning, uh, which is actually chord progression, but the way it's put together, it very much sounds like a riff. Uh, it's, it's quite clever. And... Um, there's a tiny little um, like riff at the end, but apart from that, it is pretty much just all about that sort of nice driving, slightly offbeat rhythmical feel. Uh, so, so again, there's a, a free chord chart download. Um, so if you if you go to codetuition.com, uh, you can download that. And uh, also, there's a, a beginner PDF and uh, a more slightly more advanced bar chord and movable shape uh, PDF alongside a fretboard note finder, uh, which you can download, which is great for any songs like this. And uh, it'd be really um, appreciated if you can support the channel by considering to download that. Um, but um, this song uh, has uh, sort of three parts to it, I suppose, or maybe four. There's, there's the intro, which has got quite a lot of chords to it. The verse, one chord. Um, the pre-chorus, uh, two chords, and the chorus, one chord, and a riff. Okay, uh, And then you've just got to put that together in specific order um, to be able to, to play along with the whole tune. Um, as, as with quite a lot of these, uh, this is actually um, the same key as the original. So uh, one, once you've got this, you can actually play along with the original recording if you wanted. But um, chords to start with, we've got this C. So that's fret two, fret five, and um, uh, maybe the Neil Young one that I've done in this series has probably gone over the actual shapes in the most detail. So if you if you want to maybe consider like looking at that, I'll I'll, I'll put a link. Um, if if you're struggling with any of these shapes, that one's probably a bit easier. So it might might be a good one to start with. But we're going for C, and then uh, it sounds quite good to just just play an A power chord here. Um, so I'm literally just barring fret two. Um, we, we, we don't need to sort of play the full A shape. Uh, it works quite nicely. You can hear it go down to the A, which is what it does on the original six string version. You do that twice. And you do it a third time, but you actually continue this time. So we go C to A to G. Uh, I'm just gonna use the open strings, nice and simple here. Uh, and then I'm going to go to F, so the F is fret 2, fret 3, fret 5, string, fingers 1, 2 and 5, so that's F, uh, the, the F note is on the middle string. So I was talking in the um, uh, Hotel California uh, song about uh, which, which strings um, the, the root notes are on depending, and that determines which, which shape we'll use, so this, this is a easiest um, shape to play for, for a major chord, particularly if the root note's on this middle string. Uh, and then after the F, we're just going to D. So we're just going for this standard open D uh, power chord, actually, that one. So that's that's probably the easiest D to play, and it, it still works pretty well in, in this um, song. We'll, we'll go to the, uh, the full D major in the uh, chorus a little bit later. So... C to A5, C to A5, C to A5 to G to F, stay there for a little bit and then go to D. Right. So again, um, there's uh, 
couple of useful songs I did um, a few weeks ago. Uh, so there was uh, Sunshiny Love, um, which is really good just for sort of uh, looking at basic flat picking technique, um, just how to hold the pick and how to get a good sound out of it. But also there was um, T-Rex, uh, 20th Century Boy, which is much more strumming based. So there's a little bit of a talk about how you, you, you've got a dif difference in um, like movement basically for strumming compared to like um, single note picking. Uh, so check check both of those out might might be quite useful but what we're doing with the strumming is we're going to go down up down up okay so there's alternate strumming but on the second up stroke which is the fourth strum down up down up we're actually changing to the a chord so we're going to jump onto that uh, early we're going to jump onto it on the off beat so we're going to go down up down up and then maybe up down I'll do that again so it's C down up down up up down and again in terms of barring in terms of some of these chords uh, the, the the sunshine you love uh, goes into barring in quite a bit of detail uh, that there is a bit on the um, Hotel California as well, uh, and and even the, the, the Green Day um, Good Riddance picking song um, from a couple of weeks back. So we've got down, up, down, up, up, down. Do that twice, down, up, down, up, up, down. Third time, down, up, down, up, up, up. Up, down, up, down, down. So that third time we've got C. Down, up, down, up, G, up, F, up, up, down, up, down, and then a final down on the D. So there's a lot of changes on the, the up strum there. So that's what you call like an off, off beat rhythm that we're changing in between beats one, two, and three, and four. So it's like one and two and three and four. Same again, one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. Okay. And um, I don't know if you noticed on the demo, I was putting a little bit of a sort of percussive chop in, in, in uh, quite, quite regularly. Uh, so I might do that over on the verse. It's probably easier to, to, to do that on the verse because it's just the one chord. Um, but one thing you can do uh, is people will sometimes hit like open strings in between chords. Uh, we, we, we can't really do it in between those two and, and, unless we go down, up, C, open, up, up, down. We, we, we could do it um, going back to the A, uh, C right at the end of the A chord. So we could go um, down, up, down, up, up, down, open. So we could put an extra upstroke in, gives it a bit more sort of continuity. I might, I might even sort of punctuate, um, put a little bit of variation in that F. Um, so I probably want to let the notes ring over. So I'm just going to do ups for all of those offbeat changes. So I'm going to third time C, A, G, F, up, down, up, down, down. So that's the intro. Verse. So um, 
typical drum beat will be uh, the, the snare, the loudest sound that you get off a, a drum, uh, a, a drum kit. Um, it is often on one, two, three, four. It's often on beats two and four in in a bar. So um, we can one, two, three, four, one, two. So um, to get that that sort of percussive chop. Um, I'm, uh, I'm not doing anything with my right hand, it's, it's the left hand that's um, the sort of controlling the sound here. So I'm uh, relaxing the pressure, but you can hear that D still, still ringing through there. So I'm, I'm, I'm also just touching very lightly with my little finger. You can, if you want, drop the shape but it, 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 I, I find it just a bit cleaner to use my little finger because uh, I can sort of over like drop as it were and, and I can sort of come off that and, and make it sound less crisp and a little bit more sort of muddy so I'm personally going down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, That's the verse. So uh, it, it plays. It's almost like a pre-verse. It's the um, it's the D chords uh, with, with no um, vocals. So so he plays that for a couple of bars, um, and then starts singing. And when he starts singing, it's eight eight times round that. Uh, and then for, like for the pre-chorus, uh, I'm going to go up here for A uh, for a bit of variation. Uh, you, you can completely just play down there if you want, but I'll um, th again that's a power chord, so this one might sound a little bit um, sort of lighter, a bit 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 more like a full A. Um, now that that chops easier because we're already covering three um, all three strings, so we've just got to relax them all at the same time. Okay, we do two bars of A. So a whole bar is one, two, three, four, another bar. B minor. So this is fret four bar and then fret seven little finger. Uh, that's two bars as well. So the pre-chorus um, is uh, big wheel keep on turning lyrics and uh, two bars of A, two bars of B minor, and then for the chorus, rolling, rolling down the river. Uh, I'm afraid I'm not the world's best singer, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to subject you to it. But um, basically, uh, the chorus is D, but instead of playing this this D, let's go for the brighter version. Let's go for fret seven and uh, fret eleven with our little finger. So bar, bit of a stretch, but it sounds quite nice. And we can also drop onto the riff directly from there as well. Same, same sort of chop chop rhythm, um, and that's uh, four bars on the D. But we only want to do it three times because we're going to play the riff in the fourth bar. Three. So I'll, I'll, I'll count that, three, four, so it's one, two, three, and then, okay, now that riff uh, is actually the, the, these two bars, uh, notes that you're already holding down, but we want to jump down here, um, try not to play the low low D because it doesn't really work, um, uh, low G sorry, uh, and then so that's fret 7 and 11 and then that's 5 and 9 and then that's 4 and 7. It's 
a bit less of a stretch on the six string guitar, but we're obviously having to adapt it. These are actually called sixths because the notes are six apart in the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can move. move up and down a scale in them. So it's um, this first shape twice, that one once, that one once, and that, that just um, matches with the rolling down the river bit. So going into it now. Now that completely matches the, 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 the rhythm of uh, the the vocal line at that point so without worrying too much about the timing of it just sing it to yourself and uh, you, you should be able to get that in time but um, that's that's it first pre-chorus chorus, chorus. Um, if we wanted to put the chops in for the intro uh, we might want to go something like this hold on I'll do that again So, C, down, up, chop, up, up, chop, open. I'll do that again. Down, up, chop, A, up, chop, open, down, up, chop, A, up, chop, then down, up, chop, chop. Chop. I'll play it in the F in the same way. Okay. Uh, I mean that rhythmically get get in a sort of consistent percussive sound it's a, it's a little bit on the tricky side to be honest um, and, and rhythmically that makes it quite you know quite a bit more difficult so um, put that in if you can but um, the, the main thing is to, to get the chord placement uh, correct rhythmically um, you know get the chords on one and two and 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 uh, get, get them in the, in the right place in the bar um, but yeah that's that's it so you've got intro uh, verse pre-chorus, chorus, uh, and with most songs, once you've got those main component parts, you, you've, you've just got to structure it, so you do all that again. Um, there's a, a solo. Uh, he, he jumps back in with the, the intro chords as like a little hook that comes in a few times, and uh, I think it's a fade out on the final chorus. But um, but yeah, if you have a download the, the, the free chord sheet, um, that'll be pretty helpful, and uh, please consider downloading the... Uh, chord boxes, the beginner chord boxes and the uh, bar and movable shapes. And we shall see here again soon on Code Guitar.